All right. So it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but um, they're actually one of the most popular ones uh, on my channel. So it's like, you know, if you guys are finding use out of them and I could make them, why not provide <laughs> provide the people with what they want? You know, uh, this is a I'm recording this a few days after the new 1.22 patch. So September 1st today, the patch just came out, I think two days ago or something. Um, quite a few changes. I'll, I'll link in the description the change log. Uh, some new backpacks. They redid the melee system. Zombies are pretty difficult to, to f handle now. There's a guy with a bunch of zombies there. Let's avoid. Let's let him fight the zombies. Um, but as you can see, I got a little... You know, northeast side of Bar Lower Berezino Swamp. And what I'm going to do, it seems like this is pretty infested. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize the well. And I'm actually going to do something I haven't done in one of these uh, guide route videos before. I'm going to go... I think I've done... A, I may have done a couple bears, you know, ones. I'm not sure. But I know for sure I haven't gone... Um, follow the coast east, northeast from uh, the spawn point. So we're going to do that. We're going to hit a new loot route. Uh, you know, go over some new changes and new tactics that come with... Uh, the changes in 1.22 that might be helpful for you and uh, just go over some basic daisy knowledge as if you're watching this I assume that you're pretty new to the game so here you spawn in you, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of docks and you know it's like a dock area with some cranes a bunch of crates it looks very similar to a, a prig east Ch uh, Chernigor spawn but the difference is this harbor area and crate area is much smaller um, there's some industrials here, a little pub house, whatever. So I'm, I usually go and I loot that little, little knife, good, good stuff. I loot that little, uh, patrol shack there. And we're going to try and be as quiet as possible. So as I said, zombies got a little bit of a buff in this new update. They do a lot, I feel like they do a lot more damage. They give you cuts a lot easier. They damage your clothes very easy. So zombies, it's best with them. It's best to remain as undetected as possible. So you want to fight as little zombies, as few zombies, sorry, as you can. So I usually, but um, yeah, you like to usually come and uh, I loot that patrol shack. We're gonna loot some industrial sheds here, and uh, we're gonna loot the PD, hit the well, and we're actually gonna go east towards Riffy. Ooh, some bones. It's actually really nice. Very nice. So I'm gonna leave them there for me. Get a little boony hat for the rain. But yeah, it seems like I don't know. There's a play. There's some players running around. I'm on an official server, uh, DE1642, I believe. There's like 40, 45 people, something like that. Somewhere in between out of 60. And as you can see, I'm sprinting around because I am impatient and I am not used. To the slowed down, uh, at least encouraged slow down place, slowed down play style to start a life. I like to get in spawn towns and get out as quick as I can. I'm just gonna eat my pear. There's a chicken around, so we shouldn't be too bad on food. We already have a knife, which is really good. Some gloves. I think is that his elbows up zombie? Let's see. It is. So if you see that zombie in the distance, when they stop walking and they have elbows up, that means they were recently aggroed. So maybe that fresh we saw running around. Uh, I guess he just blew up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a gas like a gas can or something exploding. That was, that was nuts. But yeah, anyway, we're going to hit the PD here. I'm going to hit the, the, the basics because it looks like there's maybe a lot going on around here. I'm not sure. Lots of aggroed zombies. Closed door at the PD. But basically with this one... Oh shit, I don't want to ruin my gloves, but... 
Zombie tracking is still questionable. Basically, with this spawn, you'll spawn, you know, like the east, northeast, eastish side of Berezino, the lower side. Um, you'll spawn probably in that harbor area. And if you come through the harbor area, through the industrial, here's a yellow PD building. I'm gonna try and be sneaky, stealthy. There might be somebody in here. So we're just gonna loot, lightly loot. I'm gonna take these pants. Better than my freshy pants. Some handcuffs, because you never know when you want to get kinky. If you don't know how to do stealth kills, you have to walk right up behind the zombies slowly, hold a knife, you know, hold them up like this. I waited too long. Zombies have eyes in the back of their head if you didn't know. Basically, you do that. I was, you know, slowing down the process for the sake of uh, the example. But you just go up, hold the knife up like that, like you're about to punch, you know. And then you just do a normal animation. You should get a stealth kill animation if you don't alert the zombies. Now, if this other door is closed and locked, I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah. So what we're going to do is instead, I'm pretty sure there's someone in there. We have minimal gear. Let's get out of here while we can. Let's hit the well really fast. Uh, zombies here. But yeah, we want to hit this well. We're going to be traveling a little bit if we're going to go go east. Away from Berezino to Svet. Svet is also another spawn town. It's it's a bit of a rare spawn. I actually don't know if you get it anymore. Um, I haven't gotten it on official in quite some time. But I do like it. Uh, I was actually trying to get a Svet spawn for this video. But I figured a, an East Berry spawn would not be so bad. But yeah, from from the coast, you come inland a little bit, cross the train tracks. The train station is a is a good place to find for reference. Then you'll see the PD, and right next to the PD here in this little courtyard is the well. And since we're going to be doing a little running around, water might be a bit of a problem. So I figured, uh, you know, not a bad idea to just fill up on water while we're here. Because there's not really much in between here and, and, uh, and Svet. I will also show you um, two other key locations. If you get the, this spot, it's actually a really good spawn to try and speedrun a Riffy, Riffy Gas Zone uh, adventure. So if you don't know, there are two locations on official... There's a dead player there. That are permanent gas areas that spawn really, really good loot and you need a full NBC suit and some accessories to access it. Ooh, look, one of the new backpacks, a little leather satchel bag. I'll take that. Um, and there's just actually a lot of good uh, spawns for NBC stuff in this area. So I'll show you where the police or the the fire station is. It's right down the road here, and then we'll loop around to the medical site, and uh, I'll show you where to find NBC stuff. And then Riffy would be on the way to Svet, so, you know, it's a good... We're gonna get a little two birds, one stone kind of action here. So I'll show you where... Oh, shotgun shots. Close enough for that zombie to be aggroed, so that's something we want to avoid. So you can see the tip of the fire station there. It's creeping by. There's the medical. We'll loop around. We'll loot a little bit. See if we can find a fire axe for myself. I'll cut through the industrial here. There's lots of zombies in this area. I feel like there's more zombies. I don't know if it's... This is actually my first time playing official since the update. It feels like there's a lot more zombies than normal. I could be mistaken. But that's how it feels at least. Um, but yeah. It looks like someone maybe looted through here a bit. So this fire station, this open fire station area will spawn NBC gear. These crates back here. The shed will also spawn them if you get lucky you can see there's firefighter gear yep there's a hood here 
Now if we want to go do an NBC run, you need a hood, you need a jacket, you need pants, you need boots, you need gloves, and you also need a, uh, an NBC mask with a filter, unless you find a combat mask. In that case, it's a, a pre-filled mask that's not refillable, and there's some pants. So right there, we already have like, you know, a third of the suit from looting two little crates. And the fire station isn't even the best place for the NBC stuff, in my opinion. We'll take the boots for the insulation. I prefer, you know, I'm actually going to stick with the with the shoes, the sneakers. Because with, you know, how crazy powerful zombies are in this update, it's going to be really important that you stay as quiet as you can. Because they are very sensitive to, you know, to audio. And being as light as you can will really help with that. And boots are pretty loud. So sticking with the sneakers will help me stay a little bit quieter. You can see how quiet you are on the bottom left hand of the screen where the stamina bar is. You can see that I'm in a crouch position because I'm crouch walking. And anytime I make a noise, you can see a little like noise icon. And as long as I'm slow crouch walking, I have one bar and that means zombies are less likely to detect me. But, you know, that all of that... Uh, ties into into your gear so the more gear you have the louder you are the less stamina the more detectable you are to not only zombies but also players so that's a good good rule of thumb as we got a zombie here it's a good rule of thumb to stay light and quiet that, that's my philosophy that's how i play daisy um that's why I, one of my the favorite parts of this update for me are the new backpacks because they're all like sling backpacks like over the shoulder light not a lot of um, not a lot of slots. Like you're not going to be over carrying, getting super heavy. Uh, it's good incentive to be light, you know, because you want to carry that new backpack. They actually look pretty cool. I like this leather bag. I like the sling bags. I like the fanny packs. You know, light gear that doesn't make a lot of noise is good for a player like me. And honestly, with the new zombie, uh, you know, AI behavior. And how powerful they are. It's not a bad idea to, to stay low-key. You know, stuff like uh, a big mountain bag gives you a lot of slots, but it's also really loud. And if you, if you start playing light for a while and then you go back to trying to carry heavy, you really, really pick up on how loud and obnoxious that it gets. Like at this point, if I wanted to play heavy, I really couldn't because the noise just bothers me. It's not really something you pick up on until you, uh, you know, get into the habit of doing something else. So look at this. We already have a jacket, pants, and a hood. We just need boots, gloves, and a NBC mask. So this is a really good place to come and loot for NBC stuff. Like it's a good, uh, it's a good little starter town. And if you don't find all that you need, you can always go to the upper part of Bears, you know, and loot the uh, the big hospital up there. But the good part about the lower Barry area is the fire station nearby, and also there's a bunch of sheds near to this medical, which I'll loot in a minute, that also fall into the medical spawn radius and will spawn uh, NBC gear there as well. So here's a, a gas mask filter. If we found a mask, uh, we could attach that to the mask, and we would be able to you know, wear that on our face to breathe in clean air. Pretty self-explanatory. Not as much luck in here, but what we're going to do is we're going to creep down over here. We're going to loot these sheds. Who knows? Maybe it's looking like we might have to do a little NBC run on the way. Like That would be actually insane. There's another one of those canvas bags. There's a medical themed one if you want to role play as a as a uh, as a paramedic. It's now more possible. You can also get a paramedic fanny pack. So let's do this. It looks like we're not going to get any luck. Another filter there. Pretty good. 
four filters, you can get them pretty easily or pretty frequently. You know, on those zombies there. So if you kill the the NBC zombies, I feel like there's usually a pretty good chance you get a uh, a filter if anything. You know, in their loot drop. A piece of food. This house also is nearby and close enough to the radius that you'll get MB or medical drops as well. But it's not looking like we're gonna get any. Uh, it's not looking like we're gonna get any more pieces to the suit. So here's here my idea is, you know, if you would want. Oh, there we go. Hatchet is well as an improved melee weapon in this update. But my thought process now is it looks like we're not going to get a full suit. Let's just carry on with our mission. Maybe we find the rest of the suit in Svet or on our way somewhere. And, uh, you know, we can always circle back to Riffy. It's not a hard place to get get to. Um... So yeah, um, I was more so just doing that to like showcase how good of an area that is for NBC gear, if that's something you would like to do. I think in the future I'll do a little, little loot route slash like guide type video, an updated one, because I did it a while ago. But uh, for NBC gear and for doing uh, NBC runs, I think that would be helpful to a lot of people. But now my idea is... You know, sometimes I might go up this way towards Kelm. There's a summer camp up this road. But I think now we're going to go follow the coast northeast up to Svetlo. And I will show you guys what's up with Svetlo and where you can go from there and why it's a good way to go. I really like the northeast highway. Um, it's like a big open roadway that takes you through some major cities. And it's an easy way to get up to Kamensk Millie and also... You know, pretty much a, almost a straight shot up towards Tissy and a lot of other key major areas. So it's actually one of my favorite loot routes to go on. And, you know, this is not the worst spawn in the world for that. I think what we need now is just a little bit of, uh, I'm actually going to take this broom so I can cut it up easily if you're a fire. We really just need food. And I thought we could get a chicken, but I got a little sidetracked. We may be okay, and even if I start to get a little hungry, I think it'll be a good way to showcase um, what you can do in a pinch if you are in that situation and you really are desperate for food. Because starving to death, it takes a long time to starve to death in Daisy. Um, people sometimes get panicked when they have red hunger, and you realistically have a long time to sort of recover. I do hear a chicken, but I'm going to ignore it. There's lots of ways you can get food. Official is not the most difficult uh, experience in terms of uh, finding food sometimes. I know a lot of people struggle with it. I know I got a lot of heat in some earlier videos for saying you're just looking in the wrong places. And oh, look at that. And some a lot of the times it is. Food does not spawn in places you might expect. Like Obviously, it will spawn in houses sometimes. But it's not going to be out in the open. It's not like PUBG looting, right? It's going to be more like uh, tucked away in little cabinet spots. Or, you know, on a bed or on a table. I don't know. Not just there plain, in plain sight sometimes. Sometimes you won't even see it. You're going to have to use your tab vicinity feature to, to find it. But I find that at least at the moment, food really, really tends to spawn in cars. So look in the back seats of cars, look in the trunks of cars, the driver's seats. If you see a car, make that a priority to loot. One of the re car wrecks, sorry, not like a, a usable car, but a car wreck, like I just looted. Um, you can find food tucked away in there quite, quite often. And I think that's a really good underutilized source of uh, finding canned goods. And then you don't have to go around, uh, you know, maybe looting fruit trees like a lot of you guys like to do. I mean, fruit, you can find an abundance of fruit in official sometimes, but it's not the most caloric, uh, you know, efficient food to eat. 
You know, you can find canned goods pretty easily if you're lucky, and if you're not having luck, you can always go fishing. Fishing is super easy to do. I'm actually making a fishing guide. I talk about fishing almost every guide that I do make because I think it's really, really uh, essential to the survival learning curve. If you can learn how to fish in Daisy, your life is going to be, actually, your quality of life on every run is going to be a lot better because fishing is really easy to do. It doesn't take much at all to, uh, to get going and you can do it on the go if you do it right. You, know, you can find fishing equipment on the coast at fishing boats or in the docks like we spawned at in the crates. Um, but you can also just, you know, cut up some clothes, make a rope out of rags, or find a rope, or find a dead person, cut them up, and use their guts as rope. It's weird, but it's true. Uh, but you use that, combine it with a long stick, and you have a fishing rod. The only thing you need from there is bones, or an actual uh, fishing hook. But if you can get your hands on some bones, like I was lucky enough to find one bone just sat in the shed there. Scripted, I know. I'm gonna get all the scripted calls. No way this was actually official. You got so lucky. You found guns so easy. You found food so easy. <laughs> when I'm literally just playing an official run on PC. All of those uncut videos did not make a difference in people's heads. But that's okay. But yeah, all you need... Did I pick it up? I did. It's in my boonie hat. All you need is a bone. One bone. Combine it with a knife. A blade of some sort. And you have a fishing hook. This will get you, like, I think seven to eight uses uh, of fishing. And when I mean, when I say uses, all that means is, uh, you know, when you actually catch something, you complete the fishing animation uh, and you, your player stops. So you catch a fish, you catch some junk like uh, wellies or compass, or sometimes you can get lucky and catch a pot. It's actually a good catch, believe it or not, because you can then use that to boil water. It's a good piece of survival equipment. Uh, you can obviously cook with it, whatever. Um, and sometimes you will catch nothing. So that counts as one use. You get seven or eight uses out of that. So all you need is to carry one of these. You know, that's usually pretty good for your, for life. One or two of them. If you, if you want to be extra cautious, if you're an extra cautious player and don't really like to get into, into, you know, PVP engagements. I'm someone who does like that. So I'm a bit of a risk taker. Usually one hook will do me good for life. You carry one of those, maybe two, uh, and then a rope, which is a three by one slot. A hook is a one by one. You know, you're talking four or five slots and you have unlimited food as long as you can find a water source. You know what I mean? So it's it's a really efficient on the go method of, uh, of filling up your food bar. And that's if you don't find enough food to, you know, in towns and in cars and whatever off other players, whatever it is that you do to get food. That's like a backup option, you know, an on the go. Oh, I'm yellow. I'm, I'm red. I'm starting to starve. Let's, uh, let's, let's get, take care of my food problem. Uh, it's a, it's a really good efficient method and I am making a guide on that. So keep your eyes uh, out for that. But we'll just take these train tracks. You could see Riffy on, uh, on the right, that like green gas area is Riffy. You can get a full NBC suit, so you need the hood, you need the jacket, you need the pants, and then you also need boots and gloves and a face mask. I have filters, which is nice, um, but all you need is that. You can go in and you can maybe get yourself an M4 or get lucky, you know, find something good. That's where some of the best guns in the game will spawn. But all you got to do from here is just follow the train tracks, the direction that, uh, you know, out of Bears, you know. And these train tracks will actually take you right into uh, Svetlo. So I'm going to take a cut here. You don't have to watch me, you know, jog down some train tracks for 10 minutes or whatever. I'll cut here and I will skip over to when we are in Svet. All right, so I know I said I would cut to when I got into Svetlo. We're actually almost there. But I did want to point out something I forgot to mention is along the way... Uh, you can't really see behind me. There's a couple boats back that way. There's also some fishing boats here. So, you know, if you're jogging down the road, you didn't get as lucky maybe as I did with that unknown food and the other bits of assorted stuff. Oh, look at that. A real fishing hook. Um, you know, loot these loot these uh, little fishing boats along the way. They, they can be a pretty good source for finding canned soda. Maybe you'll find a fishing rod. 
Uh, sometimes I'll find a fishing rod early, like very early game, and I'll use that because it's a little faster than an old fishing rod or an improvised one, rather. Um, you know, it's a, it's it's a little bit more efficient. I can get in and get out of the spawn towns faster, get my, get some a quick source of food and, and move out, and then I ditch the fishing rod and move to my rope and stick method. Um, but at the very least, you know, finding a, a good fishing hook is is even better than a, a bone hook because it's like double the the usage or something, the double the durability. I, I, at least I believe so. So a uh, flashlight's not bad either. So you can find some pretty decent equipment here uh, on these boats. So I just wanted to, to check back in and, and let you guys know about that real quick. So we're almost as fat low. This time for real, I'll cut <laughs> when we actually get this fat. All right, here we are. I made it to the vet, so you know I found one can of food, a little bit of extra food, and we made it. It looks like there's somebody here. So, I mean, last town we left because it seemed very, very active. There's lots of gunshots. Uh, you know, early game. That's something that might interest me. Like, I might want to get into some buffoonery, some goobery. You know, mess around a little bit, get into those like freshy hectic chaos fights, but if you're new and trying to learn the game, that might be something you maybe want to avoid, I don't know. So, for the sake of the video, we avoided that. There might be a base there, lots of people shooting, you never know. So, this is like a good alternate route where if you spawn in bears, you know, you can go this way instead and maybe be a little safer. But, Svet is not as popular of a town as Barry. Barry is a pretty popular spawn. So, um... You know, I wasn't surprised at that, and it's, like I said, a good, this is a good redirect, you know, if, you, if you're not feeling that spawn at all. And if you're, even if you are, and you're like, well, I'm not really wanting to go Kelm, I go Kelm every time. Uh, it's a good, you know, alternate method, because the Northeast Highway is a really good route to take. Especially because Svet is not as popular, and it's a good place to find some good starter gear. And someone else must have had that same idea, because there's some... Some dead zombies around that we're gonna have to we're gonna have to look out. There is a harbor down here, some mil I think a military crate and some patrol shacks. A patrol shack. I'm gonna have to check that because I might need a gun. Looks like somebody is around. They're killing all the zombies, taking all the starter loot. We're trying to have to gonna have to look out for ourselves here. A flashbang and another flashlight. I don't really have use for that. That zombie might pick up on me. The AI is a little bit bugged and OP. They just always know which direction you go, no matter if they see you or not. Um, so at this point, we're just looting. We're trying to find more signs of, of player activity. So obviously we saw those dead zombies. He came into town that way. Maybe he got a spawn there. But we're not. T we're trying to f see where the zombies are down or, or upright at, so that we can, you know, maybe actually find some loot for ourselves. So I diverged from the path it seemed like he took to try and find some loot that he or some places he hasn't looted yet. And we're at the point now where food is okay. We do want to find some extra sources of food and gobble that down to fill up our stomachs, so we have less of a chance of getting sick. We actually have okay, okay clothing. You know, our temperature is staying in the white, which is good. Light blue is, is okay, but you want to get that fixed because if you're in the light blue, you are at a risk of a, getting a cold. And in the rain, that might be pretty difficult, but we're doing okay so far. Um, but really what we want now is we have a decent melee weapon and a hatchet. Uh, oh shit. Okay, yeah, dead player. Uh, we have a hatchet. We need a, we need a firearm and we need a vest. And I know in previous videos I've said I need a vest, and then you guys are like, in the comments, Oh my god, he said he needed a vest two times, and then he walked over three vests. Here's what I mean by a vest. I mean a ballistic protection vest. I don't mean no field vest. Field vest offers you no source of protection, okay? Maybe it's a, it's a cool little set of extra slots. That, I mean, I know you guys like to hoard loot. It's not me. There's no benefit to it other than maybe some insulation um, and some extra storage. But, you know, giving yourself 
The extra storage is maybe a bad habit to take to make, especially with this new update when zombies are super powerful and you want to be able to sneak. Uh, and, you know, the insulation, you can achieve uh, warmth without without uh, oh shit you can achieve warmth without wearing a vest like that so what I mean when I say I need to find a vest is I need a stab vest I need a ballistic or a press vest I need a plate carrier I need something to protect me from bullets not something to give me extra slots or or something like that so if you see me pass over a field vest or a reflective vest, something like that, it's because I, I don't need that. I'm looking for bullet protection. I know I got lots of heat in previous videos for that. Like, this guy's an idiot, man. He said he needs a vest, but he walked over these vests. What an idiot. This guy sucks. <laughs> oh, man. Gotta love it. <laughs> I get it though at the same time. Let's swap to the jeans. They're a little bit more stylish. I did organize my bags a little bit, but I do tend to do that between towns because I'm a OCD freak. In Daisy, for some reason in Daisy, not so much in real life. Uh, maybe it's part of my showmanship. But then when I start looting a town, it's like it goes to shit again because I'm just grabbing and going, you know? Tons of zombies. The one thing about Svet, I will say, is there are tons of zombies in this town square area. So you really got to be careful. I like to loot these little city block buildings. Oh, better jeans. I don't have to fix. We'll reorganize another point. A lighter, huge. A lighter is a source of starting a fire that we, you know, don't need to protect so much. Matches, if they get damp, they're unusable. Lighter you can use all the time. But these little like city block apartment like style type buildings. Oh, excuse me, coffee burps. Uh, are really good for finding decent civilian gear. There's tons of them around. You don't need to loot every single uh, one of them. I would argue. I'm going to try and take the back alleyways and avoid some of these zombies. Those little blue door buildings that, you know, have a set on either side are really good for... Oh, nice. Really good for food and even some guns sometimes, believe it or not. We do not have a firearm. We don't have a mag for it, but that's okay. We at least have something chambered where if we can stalk another player and get him stood still you know we could get a headshot off and get a kill and it seems like there probably is someone around nice baseball bat in the new update i'm pretty sure the you know they upped the blunt damage that this does so it does a lot more shock damage making it a much more efficient melee tool i'm gonna still stay creeping around uh, sight and audio are really big factors in terms of, you know, what's going to aggro zombies. So staying out of sight, taking these high cover areas is, is helpful. Let's kill this zombie here. He's in the way. Might have something on him too. He's got that backpack, which I'd normally take, but I got this sweet leather satchel bag. It's not a purse, it's a satchel. Uh, Alright, so the way that I'm going here, there is a medical, you can see, I think that's the PD. I actually do want to cut over and loot the PD, but this is too high traffic with zombies. Uh, I'll show you. There is a PD and a medical here. The medical is one of those uh, single story blue colored uh, medical buildings like we looted in the previous town. Shit. Right, nothing we can do here. These zombies are going to aggro on us. In this case, we have a couple. Let's get them upstairs. Take this. Oh, no. I'm actually just going to take some hits because there is a, a CR rifle. Alright, we can ditch the broom. 
A CR rifle with two shots in it and a magazine. Very nice. That's actually a super good find. Uh, I'm going to take this hoodie as well because it's in better condition. One thing to note is that zombies will do a lot more damage to your clothes in this update. So carry a lot of duct tape and sewing kits. <laughs> or just be ready to change clothes like all the time. So nice. We're actually super set now. Taking that other alternative, uh, less traveled path worked out. But this is where the paths will converge because this is uh, the one well in this town. And we haven't taken a sip since our spawn town. So we're going to take a bit of a risk in this open, super protected, super not sketchy at all well. Uh, and, you know, learning these locations will take time and experience, but, um, you know, I know them off the top of my head from my time and experience. So just take note, you know, watch where I go. I'm just kind of hugging the streets. Once you get towards the edge of the town here where the, the city blocks, you know, the apartment blocks aren't as... As visible and then you start to see single houses that's when you know like okay the well is probably here something went down here so I think our guy took a similar approach and crept through ended up having to kill a bunch of zombies and then uh, maybe another pl player should cut up human here so something went down here not too long ago but we're gonna ignore that and we're gonna go to the police station this is a police station here because we really want to see if we can find ourselves a, a stab vest or some sort of ballistic protection vest. Let's get rid of this zombie. It seems like the police zombies and the military zombies are much stronger than... Oh yeah, look, elbows up zombie. So our person definitely came through this way. There's a shotgun here. I might actually... I, I don't really like the shotguns in this game. I think the shotguns are very bugged at the moment. But it is better than a chambered IJ. I forgot what I was saying now. But... Yeah, these PD... Th this, this back area is the most traveled part of the town because there's the PD, there's the medical. You know... Very high, yeah, see, some dropped freshy shoes. Oh, we have visitors. I think, I don't know if he knows we're here. He, Wow, the lag, and he just whips out the silent style jail. <laughs> it kills me. I I don't know. That was crazy. That was bad on my part. I mean, I I just rushed him while I was eating the pear, but I don't know. That's on me. Yeah, but no excuse there. I just fumbled the bag. It is what it is. You can have as many hours as I do and still fumble and fuck up all the time. I, you know, I do. I mess up in this game all the time, <laughs> and it's okay. Something that um, you're going to have to get used to is death in this. You know, you're, you're going to have some bad luck here and there. You're not going to do the best. You know, even if you're, like, getting to a point where you feel confident in yourself uh, in terms of your playing, your play style, and, you know, how good you are with guns, whatever. You can be an absolute chad, and you're still going to die in this game. And that's something you have to embrace as a new player. So I think that's a really good example of, you know, I am someone who has thousands of hours in this game and I still just whiffed like that. It is what it is. That's that's the point of uh, that situation. I maybe didn't need to push. I could have waited and had a better shot, but yeah, it's okay. You live and you learn. That's, that's what you got to take out of every life is, uh, you know, you spawn in, 
you live, you die, you spawn back in again, you repeat. That's DayZ. And the, lear the, the sooner you can learn that, the more fun this game will be for you, because you'll just enjoy the moments uh, of every adventure. So, I'm gonna... I guess just wrap it up there. I showed you how to get to Svet. Um, actually, what I'll do is, I'm gonna, when I end this recording, I'll do a little screen recording of on the map and show you where to go from Svet, since I didn't really get to show you. You'll pass uh, some military places, some some camping sites, some hunting lodges, uh, Tissy's up there, Kamensk. Uh, there's lots of really good places to loot, and I will show you guys on the map. So thanks for watching the gameplay. Let's cut over to the, the map overview. Okay, so here we are. Uh, you just came over from the gameplay. I'm going to show you the rest of this loot route uh, via the I Survive. Uh, well, I'm on the web browser, but you can do download this app. Personally, I don't recommend using this if you're just starting out because, you know, you can see it as a helpful resource. It gives you all the whole map of Trenaris. You can get this for Livonia and other modded map as, maps as well. But honestly, my recommendation is if you're brand new, just play the game and learn the map that way. Because then that way, you, you know, you're not relying on a third-party source, um, you know, to get you around the map. And, you know, you're not going to have to stop and sit in a bush and look at your phone and not pay attention to the game, whatever it is, you know, because when you're when you're pulling up a, a map on your second monitor on your phone, you're gonna have to tab out or you know just stop playing for a second, and those seconds can be very crucial in terms of your survival. I've killed plenty of people that were sat AFK like, looking at a map, or you know I don't know what they were doing, but uh, I, I just think it's better to learn in the game visually because you'll learn the landscape, the layout of towns and cities and. All that good stuff and the benefit of learning by just simply doing and seeing uh, is you'll also you know naturally know places to flank or places to hide or vantage points that you can't really read on a map a, a map's not going to give you you know you're not going to stop mid pvp battle and be like okay i'm going to go uh this way and you know flank here and sit up on this ridge no you do that by seeing what's out in front of you and uh, i just think that's the better way to learn but to each their own. Uh, I do want to share this resource just in case people do want it. Um, but here we go. Let's get into the loot route, right? So here's where we initially spawned. We spawned here, the northeast end of uh, Lower Bears. You know, I say Lower because uh, there's the upper main bit of town, which is up the hill, Upper Bears. You know, then you go down the hill to Lower Bears. You know, and this is about where you spawn. Here's the dock here. Um, you can see the little patrol shack that we looted. We spawned. I think we got this spawn point here between the two boats uh we came up here's the well we looted the pd the medicals here the fire stations here and then we took uh the train tracks here we went past riffy this is riffy a static um gas zone uh contamination area where you can get some good loot and we just followed the train tracks here you can see all the the little Rowboat spawns that will give you fishing materials and some sodas and some decent stuff. And then we came up here to Svetlo. And uh, this is where we died. We died here in the police station because I was a goofball and just flubbed that PvP engagement. <laughs> it was a little rusty. It had been a while since I really sat down and played when I recorded this. So, <laughs> um, Anyway, but basically... I showed you a lot of Svet. I think I, we went through the well, you know, there's the police station, there's a medical back here on the, you know, southern edge of town, or the southern edge of town. Uh, and other than that, there's not too much. Uh, typically, well, the good thing about going to Svet is if you go a little bit more north and find this main road, um, this is based, this is what they call the Northeast Highway. That's what I call it. And I think, I think a lot of people call it that. And this will basically take you, it'll get, it starts in the Northeast and it just stretches across the entire North end of the map, goes, goes through and takes you near some pretty key locations in Chernaris. You go through Nova, which is a giant city, as you can see, uh, full of uh, apartments. There's a, a medical, there's a police station. Uh, there's car spawns. There's all sorts of really good stuff here uh, for you to check out. It'll take you down here. It's Farangino. Uh, near Farangino, you can go up to this little hunting camp, which also takes you up to commence military base. Can commence town. Very, um, you know, 
notorious uh, areas, especially the military and the summer camp here. Very good for getting uh, next level tier weapons and, and gear. But if you continue on the highway here, it'll take you through Severograd, which is another massive city. A really good place to get NPC loot. Um, there's a police station here. There's a, a hospital here, a full scale hospital. There's also a fire station somewhere. I think that's the fire station, supposedly. I forget. Pretty sure there's a fire station. Either way, there's a lot of really good loot. There's some wells along the river. Uh, and then also right near Devil's Castle. So there's that. You can keep following it even more if you want. A couple of towns in between. Uh, and then it takes you to Novaya Petrovka, which if you are even semi-familiar with the map, is just north of the notorious Northwest Airfield and just southeast of Tissi, which is a huge military base. Seen as pretty much the end game in on Trenaris. You know, between Tissi and Northwest Airfield, that's where you're going to get... Um, you know, some of the best gear in the game outside of going to a contaminated zone or finding uh, a convoy or a crashed helicopter. Uh, in terms of places, you know, locations that are set that you can just loot without any special equipment, this is pretty much end game. Uh, and you can find at Tissy, it's pretty easy to find uh, a full set of military grade NBC gear. So it's just a different look. It doesn't, it's not more effective or anything as far as I know. Uh, there's also the ski resort out here, you know, the ba basically this one stretch of highway takes you across the whole north end of the map and it's a really, really good route because there's some really big cities you can get geared up, not really have to worry about food too much. Uh, pretty simple, you know, pretty simply, pretty quickly. Uh, the only thing is, is it's high traffic, so that's the risk that you run. Whenever you run in a high traffic area in DayZ, uh, which is basically staying on the road or looting pretty much any town uh, that's on a major road leading from you know a major area like I would say from Electro if you take the road through here and you go to Staroy pretty major town because it comes right from two major spawns usually from people that spawn in Solnichny come to Staroy and also from Electro and sometimes even uh, even Cherno it depends on which which route people want to take that day but you know Anytime you take a major route like that, it's going to be high traffic, even if you think it's low key. So, taking the only way to really be low key is to stay in the woods and away from these areas because most players are looting towns, looking for food, looking for weapons, looking for ammo, attachments, better clothing, uh, whatever. So, and this Northeast Highway is pretty much as high traffic as it gets because it leads through so many major uh, points of interest. But nonetheless, I hope this is helped you uh unfortunate that i died in that situation and i want to show you because i wanted to show you a little bit more um but i think that knowing that that loot route is available to you you know you can get a, a bear xeno spawn and go north northeast or you can even sometimes get lucky and get a svet spawn and just take that highway all the way through the north end of the map and get geared pretty quick play your cards right play smart and you know, it's a good experience to have. It's a good knowledgeable. It's a it's a good route to be knowledgeable on because it's so profitable. Um, you know, obviously you have to get a little lucky, but for the most part, with all these big POIs, you know, there's a high percentage chance that you're gonna get good loot. So, hopefully this was helpful. If so, make sure to leave uh, you know a like on this video and subscribe for more Daisy Guide and Daisy Adventure content. Uh, if there's any other suggestions. Uh, in terms of, you know, other loot routes you want to see or a tweak that you make on this loot route in specific. If you end up, you know, if you like to travel the Northeast Highway, what are some towns you like? What are some low-key spots that people don't maybe know about? Uh, what's some, anything you have to share or any suggestions you have for me? I'd be happy to, to read about them in the comments. So make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video and what I can improve or touch on for next time. Uh, that's going to be it for me today, though, guys, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.